Good evening, friend. Now it's time for a quest for semi-glory. We're starting a new game tonight. This is Solar Ash. Uh, we've skipped past the title screen since that was doing some weird things, I think. Um, but Solar Ash. Uh, this is um, in the same universe as uh, Hyperlight Drifter. Not the direct sequel uh, that Hyperlight Breaker is supposed to be, I think, right? Um, but we'll see maybe some familiar stuff. Who knows? Uh, don't really know much about this game otherwise that it looks cool and sounds cool and... Let's, let's give it a play, huh? Oh, oh, gives us options right out the gate here. Well, obviously English, yeah. Um, turn vibration down a bit. And then we'll start at, let's see. Affects the difficulty of bosses and black ooze challenges. I don't know what that means really right now. But let's see. Definitely not novice. Uh, well, we can't do hardcore because it's not unlocked. Uh, maybe we'll just start at standard and see how it goes. Maybe we can adjust it in the middle if it gets to be too easy. But all right, let's give it a try. Hey, Firetron. Hey, Game Over. How you doing? Good to see you both. All right, new game. Solar Ash, let's go. The Edge of the Ultra Void. World-eating black hole. Okay. I think it stopped consuming another planet, except... Us? Is it us? Are we the ones? Oh, no. Starseed, a colossal device hypo hypothesized to destroy black holes. Creators, the Void Runners, have embarked on an impossible mission to save their home. Are we a Void Runner? Final member Ray has reached the event horizon but lost all communication. Okay, so I guess we're probably Ray, right? Leave everything behind. She prepares to pass through the cusp of reality. Oh boy. Okay. Cusp of reality. I guess that does track with the black hole's event horizon, doesn't it? Space time gets all weird and shit. Oh, this looks pretty. Oh, we get an S word right away? All right. Or at least we get an S-word in the intro cutscene. We'll see if that pans out. Just kind of jumped into a black hole, more or less. Okay, seems pretty. Here we are, just in the Another lane of red. Whoa, jeez. I told you all to leave me alone. Whoa, no, you should get that thing in the center of your chest checked out. My goodness. Oh, ooh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, that probably left a mark or two. And also, I have no idea who the gigantic energy space lady was either, so... Well, there we are, presumably. Ooh, ooh, yep, that, uh... That was a rough fall. Oh. Yeah, no, no, take your time getting up. Oh my god, that's gonna be at least a couple broken bones. Or whatever passes for bones for us. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we can look around. Okay, we can move. We can skate. This is the ultra void. Cool. I can't believe I made it. Ultra void. All right, let's do a quick button check whilst we're around here. So obviously left trigger to skate. We've got a jump. Oh, we got a double. Oh, we get a double jump right away. That's super good. All right, uh, X. Okay, we've got an, what I presume is an attack. B. Uh, okay, Bullet time? Or some sort of slowdown. Why is nothing? Uh, left bumper is... Oh, hold. Uh, left bumper is something. Oh, that's probably our, our wayfinder. Okay. Right bumper is nothing. Right trigger is... Oh, looks to be a... A dash of sorts. Oh, that's cool. Oh, this is very smooth and fluid. I love it. Okay. Alright, cool. So... Buttons checked, let's go. Okay, can we... Do we auto-mantle up things here? Oh, we kind of do. Alright, I'm into it. Looks like we're collecting little blood droplets. Or something. Oh, what's... X to attack. Okay, so we can bust shit open. Gave us nothing, but hey, whatever. Can we wall jump? We can't wall jump, but it looks like we can wall slide, sort of. <laughs> hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. Can we uh, dash upwards? Can we dash up the slope? No, that's maybe too steep a slope. Ooh, okay. I see, all right. Oh, we can't... Oh, did, did we air dash or did we grab the edge there? I think we probably just grabbed the edge. The void runner shield kit. The crew must be nearby. Shield kit, huh? Okay. 
I, I'm, I'm in the shield kits. That's nice. And I check out this game and I can just enjoy it here. Let's like, like, turn my own gaming time. <laughs> uh, you know, you do what you need to do, right? It, it was on sale. I got the little note that it was on sale today. I'm like, yoink. I wanted to play it anyways, right? So, uh, this looks goopy. Yeah, that's goopy. Gross. Doesn't hurt me. Just slows me down. Oh, but we can climb up. We can climb up the goop. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Oop, that's nothing, huh? Just a little, little environmental thing. Okay. Whoa, mind bending rotation. My planet. It's in the ultra voids pole. But it's not too late. It's not too late, huh? That looks like it's awful close to that this ultra void. It might be Can too late. Void runners hear me. I'm looking at the star seed. It's intact but not operational. Scanning for conduits. Okay. All right, Ray is us, obviously. Uh, just, okay. Hold, hold LB to scan. Okay. Let's turn it on. So that's our, our nav st stuff. Okay, that's good. Wait, what's, the what's that? Oh, oh geez. All right. Well, whatever we were standing on just ate shit. Serpent anomaly. Watch yourselves. All right, yeah. Okay. We'll watch ourselves, all right. Huh? Oh, that's probably... We probably don't want to drop into the cloud void, I guess. Or maybe we kind of have to. I mean, there's not doesn't seem to be anything. Oh, it's like a, it's a surface. Okay, it might be snow or something. That's cool. You can see that thing circling overhead-ish. Okay, it's very pretty so far. Smooth, stylish. Work. Boosters, I presume that's our probably our right trigger thing. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Got an boost. Singular boost. For now. It's a little extra blood things, which presumably those will refill our health or something. What we got here? Oh, oh, why to activate whatever that is. Alright. So why is our use button? Oh, bzz. Signal interference overload. Hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Initializing in safe mode. Oh no, safe mode is usually not safe at all. Hello, user. <laughs> we are seeing centralized Yadabyte database. Wow, Yadabyte, huh? Input. Okay, that's that's a lot of storage. It's right. What happened to you? Where's the team? Well, clearly Sid is a little glitchy right now. Systems offline. Yeah, no kidding. Anomalous impediments detected. Sending locations data to your multi-tool. Okay. There's no way I can activate the star seed without Sid. Better scan for these anomalies and hope there's a way to remove the interference. To violently remove the interference, perhaps? Oh, we get a map too. I didn't check if we had a map. But there we go. Okay, looks like there's three things in a boss at the crater. Excellent. Ah, and there we are. There's one over there, one over there, and presumably, okay, one down there. Alright, well, you know, closest one first, I guess, yeah? Just, uh,. Skate of about 200 meters away. That seems like that's way more distant than 200 meters, but yeah, whatever. Don't have any sense of scale here, really. Whoop. What we got here? Do we have to activate this, or is that? Yeah, it looks like it's already a thing. Oh, but then it turns off our our fun skate ability. There. This must be one of those anomalies. Better clear it out. Okay, cool. We're getting into our. Baby's first combat here. Oh yeah, that looks dangerous. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Destroyed. 
Very good. Boy, a good thing there was a checkpoint right there, huh? Oh. Okay, right. And we don't have our shield back, huh? Oh, well. <laughs> All right. So we're going to have to learn our... Learn our attack ranges here. All right. That was better. Less problematic. It's hot. What the hell is it? What? What's hot? What? What? The thing we picked up, or the the gross? Oh, gross. Yeah. Okay. We can climb it. So. Oh, jeez. No, it doesn't like us climbing it for a while. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it definitely doesn't want me to hang around, at least on that main bit, for too long. Hey, Kenny, how you doing? See ya. Uh, okay, well, it must have been just that one bit then, huh? Oh, okay. Okay, that's gonna take some getting used to, climbing the goop there. Oh. Oh, I see. Can we destroy it? Oh, yeah, there you go. Eat shit, weird space syringe thing. Fuck you. Oh, I see. We have to probably proceed to do it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, right bumper. I don't- Oh, yeah, eat shit! <laughs> oh, jeez! Okay, and then our fucking space S-word needle right in an eyeball. Ouch. Okay, well, that's one way for that goop to go, I guess. Interesting. I guess I wasn't 100% sure what to expect out, out of all that, but... Okay, cool. This probably would have been, yeah, a shield refill thing. Alright, very good. Presumably this plasma is going to be like some sort of currency, yeah. Alright, so two bops for the tiny dudes. Sure will be fine. look around here. So we're not missing anything of critical importance, probably. Alright, well there's... Oh, that one's big and glowy. Oh, right, that's the main bit that we need to go back to after we do these these three side bits, right? Climb the thing. Oh no, it's uh, that's not climbable goop. Apparently, that's just blocking goop. Very good. Oh, okay. There's some some surfaces we can't do. Oh, that's got a little target mark on it. Can we do anything about that? Doesn't seem that way. Okay. There we go. Avoid runner cash. Please tell me the logs are intact. All right. I guess this is going to be the in-game lore. All right. Let's see what we got. What's the story? Okay. So the other void runners doing their thing, right? Looks like things are going not so great. Gonna be heroes, maybe. Yeah, not really. Okay, everything's going to shit, and then bonk. Okay, yep. Got it. Reduces time slip cooldown. Okay, that's probably our, uh... 
our time stuff. Have to be okay. So this. Just... Need to find the other okay. runners. All right. Well, whoever made that log is probably toast. Let's not fool ourselves. Oh, we can destroy this. That's interesting. And yeah, that did pop a Steam Chiva. I thought, I swear I turned that off. Did Steam do an update and then not reset all my shit? Hold on a second. Yeah, because I heard that kick off too. I'm just like, ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> but if it's going to do that, I'm going to turn it off. Yeah, what the hell? Why did it turn my sound back on for Steam crap? Stop that. That's dumb. Don't ever do that. It looks like it turned on all my other notifications, too. No, get the fuck out of here. There. Alright, well, hopefully that turns it off for the rest. I swear, I disabled this by default. Like, do not do the overlay and shit in-game. I don't need to be distracted by that. Yeah, I mean, overlay is still turned off, supposedly. So it shouldn't have been doing that, but it did it anyways. Cool. Well, whatever. Hopefully that fixed it. Because we'll find out next time we do a basic in-game thing that some, for some reason, pops a Chivo. Uh, we've got our shield still. Uh, the game feels pretty good. Like, it's it's smooth. It's a little slidey. Like, when we're doing our, our fast move, it's a little slidey. But I would I guess I would expect that, right? We are... Metaphorically, literally skating, so being a bit slidey is probably fine. Oh, I see. It's pulling a whole Mario Galaxy thing with the changing gravity, sort of. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Well, if you're prone to motion sickness, probably look away at certain parts. Because that was a bit... Ooh. Oh, okay. So we get a, a three slash, and then we gotta wait for a cooldown. But it looks like our slash range is pretty generous. Just as long as we don't get right up in some business there. Yeah. Well-timed checkpoint. Okay. Presumably we're going to the next little main bit here. Yeah, oh, there you go. 30, 30 meters. <laughs> Rapple. Oh, is that what our RB thing is? Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna... Oh, I see. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Oh, this is the teaching me how to use the slowdown. Okay, very good. Rip. Rip. And then stab. Oh, and then stab here. Oh, eat shit, weird space eyeball. <laughs> Gross. I imagine we'll be doing some more gravity shenanigans as we move along. It didn't seem that bad so far, but. I'll take a bit to adapt to the camera controls and to get a good beat on when that stuff's going to kick in, too. Because this was just kind of a, a big-ass surprise this first time. It's like, oh, yeah, that looks like normal terrain. Let's go up in the... <laughs> Any fall damage? Well, not into the clouds. Didn't science that out right away, I suppose. Ah, and here's the space needles again. Okay, two shield bits that time. Oh, I see. They're showing me what they want me to do. And then they give me the timer in the bottom center there. Okay. Alright, I'm getting it. And that's how long it takes for it to do its, like, 
thingamading and get off the goop when it's about to start doing a super hot or whatever. Oh, well, not like that. Okay. Wait for it to reset its bit. Gonna get this thing first. Excuse me, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. I'll deal with you later. Oh no, it's it kicked off a third one. Uh oh, it's over there. That's fine. Oh, it's just the two and then the stab. Alright. Man, that space snake is gonna be super pissed at us. Oh, now he's guarding the thing that we need to now get to. Hmm. <laughs> I guess that tracks. Oh, those are worth 150. 150 blood or plasma or whatever the heck. That's a lot. Uh, I guess I made it mad. Here goes nothing. Yeah, who knew that stabbing something three times in its various eyeballs would make it mad? Okay. Gotta reach the tail. Reach the tail. I, why don't I just stab that eyeball there? Okay. All right. And then oh, I see. And then hurt. Then which doesn't really seem to do much. Oh, oh, excuse me, buddy. Thought you going all fucking hot sauce there. Oh. Oh, 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 no. We fucked it up. <laughs> uh, we were too slow. Okay, that's fine. Uh, can we just do, uh, do a thing here? Or no, they make you do all of them. Boo! <laughs> uh... Oops. Alright, so very Shadows of the Colossus, which uh, admittedly I did not like very much when I played it. Even though everybody thinks it's like this massive, extremely good game or whatever. It's just like, you know what? No, I'm not, I'm not into it. Whoa. Oh, I had to do the little other thing for it. The time slip and the, the hook shot or no. What do they what do they call it? The grapple? Grapple. Grapple probably. There we go. So they want me to do like the and then oh no, that that one you can't grapple. Man, you really gotta hook your ass over this, huh? In this one, it's kind of like, oh yeah, get over there, stab. Oh no, that wasn't a stab. It was like a fucking full ass two boot stomp. Oh, now this thing is pissed. That worked. It's getting weaker. All right, I will grab a shield though <laughs> before we go back in there. There we go. Alright, so whoop. okay, so we activate our little time slow Dillabop, and then we target the thing with our thing. So then we go whoop. Oh, we're too far away actually. Oh, now we're now we're good. Get it, get it! Ah, oh, boo! <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna it's got a range limit on it. Got it. Message received. Okay, got our shield back there. Um, 
Zerp. And then stab, stomp, whatever. Boom. Okay, it's it's getting redder, so that means it's it's chilling more out, right? Oh, we are too far away. Okay, well, we'll have to work that out. Just gonna have to work out like what counts as a as a boost cooldown here. There we go. Zerp. Oh, there's the stab. Oh, gross. <laughs> Whoa, the Technicolor stab. Jesus. All right, a photosensitivity warning. Again. Oh, and by stabbing an eyeball, we ended up at, uh, back to Gigantic Space Lady. Oh, you gotta get that, that space S-word needle through your chest checked out. Who are you? I was someone once, but no longer. <laughs> now I am merely an echo. I don't have time for this. How do I get out of here? It's a very space bleedy echo. I have heard that question so many times before. You're asking the wrong question, etc., right? That's enough! Send me back or get out of my way! I'm not in your way. The only thing standing between you and your precious star seed. Remnants, huh? Remnants. Remnants of lost hope. Nothing more. Well, I mean, to lose it, we had to have had it to begin with, right? So that's good. There's some hope. Oh, that's what that was? That's what weird space snake was? Was a remnant? Okay. Yes, yes. <clears throat> you need to fix everything. Ever the hero. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm a hero. I grow tired of this. Then have a nap. Or oh, oh, well, we're dead. Credits roll and game's over. Now we activated the <clears> the <throat> star star seed, right? Or we cleared one of the anomalies that was jacking up the star seed a bit. Oh right, because we killed that thing. And it was guarding Sid, right? So we need to go talk to Sid. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, we've seen better days. It's now the uh, second time we've woken up face planted on the ground. Great, you made it. Are you alright? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I regularly wake up from a blackout just on the ground. Sid, I'm not sure. I might be seeing things. The Ultra Void is known to have deleterious effects. Deleterious effects. effects. <laughs> and it seems to have had quite an effect on us as well. Uh, we spent a very uncomfortable amount of Deleterious time is a good word, though. That's like a $10 word. I'm just glad you're back online. Can you contact the rest of the Void Runners now that the interference is gone? Hmm. Cannot connect to Starseed conduits in any other sectors. Their signals must also be blocked by those anomalies. The remnants. Other other weird space serpents and shit. Ah, remnants. Yes. If you remove these remnants, our network communication should resume, and we will be able to activate the Starseed, collapse the void, okay, and thereby release our planet from its perilous gravitational pull. Oh, yeah, just that simple, huh? One, two, three, we got it. Yeah, but they're probably, like, they're probably not alive anymore. I mean, hope springs eternal and all that, but, um, I, I very much I'll doubt they're alive. Be careful, Ray. We're in this together. We'll help however we can. But that help will come at a cost. Like, uh, you know, that, that red currency you've been collecting, probably. All right, how can you help? Well, we have many starseed conduits throughout the Ultra Void. Oh, fast they travel. Place to collect environmental data Probably. and calculate energy frequencies. Okay. Conduits also function hey, as there we go, fast travel. Repair stations and info hubs. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Yep, I know how this works. Um. Uh. Oh. Okay. Yep. There's repair a shield cell. Hell yeah. Repair a shield cell, please. Finished installation. How can we help you? Um. Uh, tell me about this log. Sounds like they crash landed. No sign of the team. Reassure me that everything's okay and that the person who wrote that log is probably not dead. We're sorry, Ray. We're as mystified as you are. If you can retrieve more of their logs, it may help defragment our memory cells. Okay, yep. Fetch quest. Got it. I've been radioing my ship, but haven't had any response. Can you hail the XR Polaris? XR Polaris. Hmm. It appears the remnants are blocking our signal. We will keep monitoring that wavelength in case a signal gets through. I'ma keep tapping these air diamonds until something happens. All right, very good. Um, other We've questions. Got time for our favorite oh, your favorite, Oz said. Uh, what's our mission? How much do you remember about our mission? <laughs> The Ultra Void is pulling our planet into its orbit. We need to activate the star seed. Yeah, uh, right. Activate the, the star. Yeah, we're working on Benjamin it, I think, right? I'm glad you didn't lose all your memory, Sid. I'm glad you remember me. I mean, it, it took getting out of safe mode to remember us, but you know, whatever. Of course whatever. we do. No. Do you have any questions about our mission? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Whilst we're here, how do we get into a black hole? Remind me how we were able to enter a black hole. With Void Tech, of course. We Void, void Tech, are among huh? very few who have managed to harness and experiment with the properties, properties of void, void energy. energy. Void Energy sounds rad. By combining protons and antiprotons in a controlled way, we are able to produce massive amounts of energy. Sure. Yeah, that sounds... Yep, mm -hmm. this that's science. This used for scanning, shielding, attacking, or even as fuel for your grab boosters. Okay. Without it, you would have been crushed today. Oh, well, thank goodness for void energy, yeah. Okay. Oh, lovely. Very <laughs> <laughs> Fucking called it. Uh, how many people are still alive? How many people are still on our home planet. On the planet that's about to get sucked into a black hole. Has attempted to evacuate <clears throat> as many people as it could. But most citizens do not own spacecraft. Ah, okay. The troubles of capitalism, yet again. If you don't have enough money... Or whatever space wealth to get off planet, you're fucked. In addition, many Great. of our larger ships were already off planet, exploring parts of the galaxy unknown. Uh huh. We don't know exactly how many, but a substantial percentage of our planet's substantial percentage. All right. So less than you'd fear, but more than you'd hope. Very good. Um, any other way to stop it? Is there any other way to stop this? Probably not. I mean, the star seed is the whole black hole destroyer, right? There were many proposed solutions, but our planet's nations and governments debated the best course of action, while we slip further and further into the pull of the ultra -point. Boy, art imitates life, doesn't it? Ultimately, a solution could not be agreed upon, and the debate only led to more division uh... and bloodshed. That's why... The Void Runners took it upon themselves to solve this problem. Oh, so we're own. vigilantes. Okay, got it. Way. Got it. Well, what the fuck is Void Tech? Fill me in on the history of Void Tech. Yeah, we got time. <laughs> we're clearly not about to fall into a black hole. The Void Runners unearthed an ancient artifact while exploring deep beneath our planet's crest. We don't know what it does, but we activated it just for grinsies. But we have adapted it for our needs. Mm -hmm. Its discovery paved the way for the creation of the Star Seed. The capabilities of Void Tech are immeasurable. It can control particles that exist and don't ah. exist at the same time. I see. Did Schrodinger invent this Void Tech? Such entanglement is still beyond the understanding of traditional science. But we found it quite practical as a tool to move swiftly through the hazards of space and to contain and utilize I mean, oh, okay. great amounts of energy. Both of those things sound pretty cool. All right, that's, that's good. Good, good narrative to know. Uh, what do you know about the remnants? About the remnants? Not much, but we were able to unscramble some of our data readings from your encounters. When did you have time to unscramble that? Was that all the diamonds you're pressing there whilst we're trying to have a conversation? All right, fine. Temperature, temperature reading. reading. Yeah, because that's 
important in space. They seem to have an extremely variable temperature. In a docile state, it is roughly <laughs> 310 degrees Velkin. Velkin, I'm sorry, does that is that any relation to Kelvin, perhaps? Good anagram However, there. They can rapidly increase their temperatures. We are not sure exactly how high. Velkin, but based on get our out of here. Readings, Temperatures can approach 10,000 degrees. 10,000? Please be careful. That's an awfully round number. If you stay in contact with one for too long, you might evaporate. Evaporate? Evaporation doesn't sound good. All right, uh, why are they interrupting your signal? signal? Yeah. Why would they do that? I'm not entirely sure, but they emit a powerful chaotic signal that's completely scrambling our communications. Okay. If they are attempting to communicate, they are doing it in a highly disordered way. I mean, someone very small-minded would see that as highly disordered. Yes, I guess that's true. Do they have any weakness besides their gigantic space eyeballs? The Come on. Seem to be driven by a heavily fortified primary energy source. Multi-tool scans show a complex nervous system. Okay, yeah, stab the it in the eye. Got it. Attacking certain nerve endings. <laughs> yes, okay, I get it. Stab stores. it in the eye. <laughs> Your multi-tool has been tuned to detect higher concentrations of the remnant's energy, as well as that energy's flow through its nervous system. Okay, right. It will do its best to project concentrations <laughs> of exposed nerves and energy on a remnant. Okay. Good stuff. Um, all right. Actually, I need something else. Yeah, I... Do, do we, though? I... Change suit. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, so cosmetic. Uh, yeah, let's not, uh... Oh, we've already got that one equipped. How can we help you? Alright, um, scan for scan caches. For caches in the sector. Yeah, what are, we, what are we looking for here? You have recovered all of the void logs Sick. In the no logs. Alright. Thousand blood to get another shield cell. That's bogus. All right. I see you've done some repairs to your shields. Hell yeah. They are still damaged. Please take this plasma. You can utilize it for further maintenance. All right. Thanks, oh shit. Hell yeah. Then let's Welcome let's back, let's Ray. spend that right away. Why didn't you just give me the? Re why why even give me the money? Just give me the fucking shield cell. Whatever. Finished installation. How can we help you? Thanks, All right. Sir. Now we're good. Two thousand now for the next one. All right. Okay. Alright, and then there's the corpse of the thing we just stabbed in the eyeball repeatedly. Um, where are we headed? That away. Oh, right, to the weird black wall that stopped us uh, from moving. Can we go stab it? Or. Oh. We're not allowed to jump here, apparently. We have entered a cutscene zone. We are not allowed to do anything fun. Except stab things. Stab, oh, oh, yeah, okay. Or, you know, slash, whatever. <laughs> Left trigger to grind on rails. Oh, okay, oh, I see. All right. I'm pretty sure that's not how physics works, but whatever. That's Baruki architecture. They vanished over a hundred years ago. Baruki, huh? That oh, looks pretty I sick. Guess this is what happened to them. Well, most of it's intact. So it appears. All right, then whoop. let me get that. Climb up the goop, gross. And the life forms here are pretty messed up. Different life form, huh? Oh, oh, and they do a little, little AOE spread thing. You shit ass. When do I get to do that? 
Okay, that's fine. We've got two shield now, so we're we're fine to do a fuck up or two. Another new one. Oh, they're pretty weak, though. No problems. Okay. So, four taps for those fuckers. Old checkpoint there. That looks like a switch of some description, right? Oh, no. It's an interactable. Maybe it's a switch. Sure it's okay. There's our there's our shortcut, huh? Good old Void Tech Elevator or whatever, Rookie Elevator. Who knows? Oh, it's a rail. Gotta skate ourselves like a sucker here. All right, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's a little thing. I saw a little tiny path over here. I'm gonna be looking for secrety secrets. So, oh, hey, look at this. Tiny houses. Hmm. I wonder what lived in here. Uh, birds, mice, dribbles, some other sort of small thing. Oh, that's all that was up here, huh? Okay, that was less secrety secret and more just environmental storytelling that I was hoping for. Oh, is the controller overlay fucked again? Figures. Well, we can take care of that quickly. Yeah, looks like tabbing out doesn't play well with that. That's all right. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Is that a hot secondary set? There we go. That's better. Okay. Probably didn't like me going into the fucking Steam menu to turn off the sounds that I thought I had turned off. Oh well. Well, alright. Oh, we've magically found ourselves. the next progression here. Uh. Oop. Oh, no, no. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Oops. Second space worm is gonna be awful angry at us very soon. One anomaly down. Oh, oh, yeah. Can we? No, no. <laughs> I'm sure if anyone competent were actually playing this game, it could look real smooth and nice just jumping from thing to thing. Such as it is, I am the one playing. Its weak spot is exposed. I might be able to cut through it. Yeah, look at that. Quick slash. Huh. Okay, so there's a little bit of value in getting off the beaten path here. Oh, we find a skeleton. Says little, but 
These letters are all addressed to Nancy. Ooh. The journal says Lil. What letters, but though? These letters are all addressed to Nancy. What if I want to read the letters? Get some more narrative bits, huh? Oh, wait, 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 no, no, there was a little thing on the ledge there that I wanted to check. Oh, hopefully this doesn't hurt. I mean, so far it seems like they telegraph pretty well the paths you're supposed to take. Bar borrowing the whole, you know, trail of coins or pickups or whatever the fuck, right? But it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to follow them right away. <laughs> and I think I might have climbed up this way. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. There we I had murdered it. I guess not. Should be able to time slip to attack these creatures from a distance. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Do right that. Ah. guys. Okay, wait. I, I have a feeling we can do that. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Extra plasma, I guess, huh? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. Well. <laughs> uh, oops. That's right. This time, my greed did not end up killing me. That's always nice when a game doesn't punish you too severely for going off course. Just a few seconds to get back up. Wind, but no chime? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's wind, but it's not moving. And there's wind chime. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Whatever. All right, don't think too hard about it, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, I could have made it to that other platform over there. And... All right, well... Good. Here's the other shortcut bit to get back up here. Nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, and then it takes me over to the platform I wanted to go to anyways. Excellent. Um, why did I want to come over here? <laughs> um... Saw one of the little marks that said there was a a log thing in the ding or whatever. Right? Because there it is on the on the thing. You know what? Let's see. Let's see if our little waypoint thing highlights it for us. Nope. 
Okay, well, I can't imagine they would let you go out here without a reason, right? So right. <laughs> hey, there we are. Okay. So that's partially right. The little marker thing. There's some kind of argument among the others. Tufty says it's too late. The ultra void, even if it reverse its pull, our people would. Gone, she says. Too far gone. Well, no Tufty is a pessimist, apparently. Way. Or a realist, depending on how you look at it. Counting on us, I'll not have it. Dorb, it's time to be brave. Would you do that for your old man? Okay, we've got Irving, we've got Tufty, we've got Darb, and then we're Ray. Got it. Oh, and we got a suit part. A chest piece. We'll stop this together, Irving. I just need to find you. Alright. Good. Oh, this is a whole line of plasma on the rail too. Yoink. Comparatively meager gains for each individual bit there, but you know, who knows? Maybe it'll be worth it in the long run. Relatively generous on those edge grabs. Hmm, another humanoid life form. Is it alive? Oh yeah, okay. Are you okay? What happened here? I did it to protect them. I mean, if you say so. I'm sure you did whatever you could. Are you alone? Who? Who's there? I just need to find him. I need him to forgive me. Okay. Um, who? Who, who are you what looking, are you for? looking for? He's okay. Safe. Just hiding. Maybe in our apartment. Or the clock tower. Not the iron route. No. Alright. Three different spots to Please check, right? don't be there. She's too far gone. Maybe whoever she's looking for can tell me more about what happened. Have you seen any more folks like me? Have you seen any Void Runners? <laughs> Anyone who looks like me? Runners? You can't run from them. Who's but them? It was the only way to save us. I'm sorry. Well, alright. She's not all there. Best, best of luck with that for now, I suppose. Okay, and unlock the another little extra story bit, huh? Let's see. Uh, ba, 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 da, da. Here. Oh, I see. Okay. A stranger. Blah 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 blah. And then there's oh, looks like there's five extra bits to that. My goodness. Okay. Ah, and then we get little bits of Irving's suit here. And uh, da 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 da. da. All right. Well, let's see what we can get. Okay, so there's a marking up there. Oh, we can't play in the water. It doesn't let us have any fun. Oh, we can't jump either. Great. Okay, so no jumping around the tree. Got it. No fun allowed. Very specific about where it wants me to go from here. Oh, weird. Gross. It's the other... It's the thing we've stabbed one eyeball in already. Uh, 
I see. Okay, got a rail here. Whoop, that, well, all right. <laughs> Very good. Didn't really intend to jump all the way back down here, but that's all right. What is it, 2,000? 2,000 red currency for the next shield bit? To resume functionality. Anomalous power sources detected. And then this is the extra bits, like, here, here's where you gotta go to do the thing. You've already stabbed one, good job, here's the other three. Alright. Network interference detected. Loading emergency services. Alright, um... Emergency services, sure, yeah. Can you scan for void runner caches in the sector? Scanning. There are four. Four. Got it. No, that's good, thanks. Don't have enough. Don't have enough currency for the thing that we really want. Yet. For now, let's have a look around. Oh hey, look at that! It's one of them. Is this what the mark was from before? Wrong. Nothing, Nothing survives. survives Except there is one lost soul. Mm -hmm. a woman Probably the one we just talked to, right? The Natural disaster, track death, yada yada. yada. No business being here, do our job, and we get right out of here. Makes me wonder. Is this place just a natural Yeah, set? okay. Got it. Got it, Irving. Thanks. I can read way faster than you can talk. <laughs> Do our job. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like that was the mark for up here, yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Oh, and it looks like it kind of dimmed itself too. That's a that's a neat little touch. That the little visual hints uh kind of fade away once you've gotten the thing they're hinting you towards. I like that. All right, take us back down to Sid. Very good. Oh, can we read that? Yeah, look at that. Nondescript Manila-ish folder thing. The temple priests are saying there are too many stars in the sky, and now we should prepare for them. Too many stars, stars in the sky. Get bigger every night. Make Ro a brilliant pig. I like that. We've gone down to task. All right. Fine. Oh, oh, I didn't even see the corpses next to it. Okay. Just having a good time reading a journal, and then there are two bodies there. Whoops. Distracted by the floating box. I wanted what was in it, and then I, I paid for it. So I fell down. Oopsie doops. Oh, oh, turn around. There we go. Oh, you can just turn around while you're on the rail. That's neat. Guess it would behoove us to keep looking around, see any sort of little hint markings or whatever. I mean, we could just hit the nav thing and be like, all right, what's the next major bit we gotta go to? But nah, that wouldn't be any fun. Oh. Oh, we not? Uh, all right. All that for 150, I guess 150 is a good chunk. Alright, 
guess it would hurt to just pull up the nav points here and see where it wants us to go. One, two, three. Oh, is there four additional ones or just... Oh, no. Just the three because we got one on sort of accident. Oh, but I see a faint blue light thing up there. I'm guessing that's another thing we can grab somehow. Look like there's any goop to climb. Maybe we gotta make our way around the other buildings. Can we jump that far? From perhaps something, some building that's a little bit higher up? Maybe that one? Hmm. Alright, well, we'll see what we can do. thing we just got. Looks like there's a one bus that's very, or one tram that's very perilously balanced on a rail and then one that's just kind of doing its own thing with regards to gravity there. My darling, I have gone out foraging. Please rest. I have saved some bramble berries in the icebox for your breakfast. They are delicious. So sweet and so cold. This is just to say, Aww. I love you. Ooh. Painting a pretty rough picture here, even before we talk to this clearly distressed person. Uh... Okay. Um... Turn to page six. <laughs> Muddy paws and a sore throat. I can't stop coughing. Was I sleepwalking? Was it a dream? Uh-oh. I could have sworn that Morris was right next to me I feel like this is describing somebody, uh doing a bad in their sleep and not remembering it. He must have gone in early to work. He left me the sweetest note and freshly picked bramble berries in the icebox. Hmm. How did I get so lucky? Delicious. Okay. Let's I woke ahead, up page this morning, 30. Mud on my oh, that was... He wait, wait what the... No, I... Six. I woke up this morning. He that, wait, what the... Delicious. Alright, page 30 then. I woke up this morning. He uh, must have gone in okay. early to work. 73. I woke up this morning. Ah, I see. That was intentional. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Dream. Oh no. Oh, that's going south in a big damn hurry. Next to me, I could feel him, but when I woke up, there were no bramble berries, no icebox, no Morris. Where is he? Rutro. Kind of scared about the most recent one then. Bad morning. Need to clean my paws. Mud, or something else. Yeesh. So dark. Voice hurt. Bad dreams. He was here. The note. No bramble berries. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you okay there? He'll be home any minute now. Yeah? I'm not so sure about that. No, Rach. Quiet. Uh, where do you think Any he went? Idea where he went? He had business at the clock, clock tower. tower. And a harvest to gather in the island hmm. But he's never gone this long. Ruh -roh. She's been in the void too long. I can't end up like her. I've gotta push on. Oof. Alright. Uh, uh huh. Hmm. Well, okay. Uh, good luck with all that, I guess. Yeesh. Just gonna 
Just think about that for a second. E. All right. Okay. Um. See if we can do a bit of a free climb here. Uh, 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 well. Oh, let's see. Just good to do the whole. Oh, oh, or maybe not. That's fine too. <laughs> Damn it. spot when there's enemies abound, right? Pretty much how it works. The fires from last night have calmed down. I'm still worried. There is an unsettling sound of creaking and groaning off about the sun. I'm going to the temple to check on the old priests. Paragon Dandelos. Okay. I'm sure that turned out well. Hmm. All right. Definitely a thing over there. Oh, did our waypoints disappear? Yeah, so there's that one. I'm sure we're on our way to another one over there. Yeah. Okay. And the other one's all the way the fuck over there. Okay. Oh, good. Shortcut to the button up there. Or hold the button all the way. There you go. To get back this way. Oh, okay. Well, uh, well, uh, turn around. Okay. Oh, are we actually on our way to the top of that one building I was speculating on before? Oh, uh, oh, this might have been the blue light I saw anyway, it's right, a little indicator for the checkpoint. Ooh, careful. Oh, ouch! Right, the whole evaporation thing. <laughs> okay, it wants me to approach it from this side. Got it. Oh, uh oh, um, 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 get out of there if you can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, did that reset it back to the first bit now? Yeah, okay. Come on. Okay. Whoa, excuse me. And uh, where did it say me to go over there? Oh, there. Uh, yeah, just barely, I guess. Yeah, stab. <laughs> okay, and then there was one. If that dude's still alive, I'm, I'm gonna go do a quick murder. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Unfortunate. We might have gotten the uh, plasma out of that regardless. Okay. Well, we're pretty high up here. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right. 
Oops. Gonna fuck that jump up a little bit. All right. Well, but we did unlock that thing. Let's just get back up there, right? So that should be over here. Oh, there's a red crystal thing. Anyways, I want that. Maybe. Where's the shortcut elevator thing I just unlocked? One of these buildings, right? Uh, oh, there it is. It's all sort of subtly lit up. Alright, so that's the second of four, right? So we've got two more in this area, I think, right? One probably over there, yep, yeah, and then the other one's over there. Hmm. Okay. Have a look around. Alright, well, it's clearly that rail to get up there. And then that one's a bit more complicated. We'd like to see if we can get over to... Mm, over there, all the enemies are. Oh, there's a, a rail literally right there leading us to it. Okay, yoink. <laughs> Whee! you. <laughs> uh, they seem to be pretty generous with leaving a bunch of shield around for you, though, so... Even if you do... Even if you do a fuck-up, you're pretty well covered. Oop, 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 oop. No, 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 no. Yep. Oh, nice. Just barely. Ha. <laughs> no. What, what happened to you? Oh, he's he's glitching out a little bit. I think he's dead. He is probably dead. Now that's a view. We know what we set out to do in position and yada. Okay, well, he did his jorb, I guess, so good job, Irving. Hell yeah. I don't know why the starseed failed you, but I won't make the same mistake. Okay, and then that means there's, what, three? Three of those left, right? To get the rest of his... Whoa, gee, whoa, whoa, slip sliding everywhere. Uh, to get the rest of his suit... We missed. It's now the marking on one of these walls should have faded away, right? Wherever it was. Which is good. Means we won't get distracted by it later. Okay, now we're probably clear to next major bit that they want me to go to here. Uh, both of which are over there. Okay. Uh, it just looks like... 
Probably not, though. We've climbed up that one already. Probably over here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the, the clock tower, right? Yep, that's the big old clock tower. Alrighty, then. that we need for the next shield bit too. Whoa, excuse me, sir. briefly to see that we didn't miss anything. Oh, oh, gives us little highlight bits here too. Oh, that's that's neat that that's got a pretty large range to it. Oh, no, no, no. inspect, don't Looks rant like up. There we go. Back. Yeah, I tried, but they didn't win apparently. Looks like he just collapsed in the corner. Okay, this train schedule seems kind of worthless. I don't think the trains will be running on time anymore, unfortunately. They came down. The stars, thankfully. My apartment in the city is safe. Paragon Danderpaws. Whoever this Terragon Danderpaws is, he's, he's getting around pretty well. Although he's not very good at keeping his journal pages together. Got enough next time we see Sid, we get that uh, third shield bit. Oh, can we not latch onto that idiot? That's you have to be very specifically near it to do that. Could have used a, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a hitbox on that one, honestly. Seems like all the little log markers are pretty clearly marked, so just need to spend a hot second or so looking around to get eyes on them. Oh! <laughs> okay, all right, hitbox is a little bit smaller than that. Very good. Oh, ouch. Hey, excuse you. Oh. Aww. Did that put me back to? Okay. Oh, we're not too far behind. Let's give you at least one shield box around here, which is nice. 
Oh, sir. Excuse me. You ass. Oh, okay. We're down, downstairs here. That's fine. Ooh, oh, nice. Almost anticipated where I was going to be there, buddy. Not quite a gold star. Silver star, maybe, at best. Ooh, look at you. Look at you trying to anticipate my moves. Wow. Oh, and then this buddy shot me <laughs> in the middle of me doing my, my funky thing there. Whoops. Speed build up to do that. Eh. 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 Oh, oh, a, eh, oh, oh, a. Eh. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, nice. Okay. And is there anything better than that up here, though? Or could I have just gone up here normally? Oh, okay. I could have. Oh, well. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. I thought I was doing something secrety secret there. It turns out I did not. Disappointing. Like it is, in fact, just one of the normal ways to get up there. Well, I hate to see it. Unlock that. Mmm, stab. Yeah, it's a good thing we're carrying this, uh, energy S word stabbing needle thing. Difficult to do without it. What are these things? Now, was that the one I intended to do, or no? I think I was going for the clock tower one, and then I died, and then I somehow managed my butt over here. Yeah. Oops. Well, yeah. Made it work. Not exactly what I wanted, but all right. Let's still, maybe climb back up there. Go on, mantle up. There you go. And there was that wall we busted down here, right? Whee! Oh, it's just a shortcut. Boo. Alright, and the last bit's up at the clock tower, but we've also got, um... Oh, I see. Only got two of the, uh... Two of the six things for Lyris there. One of them said the clock tower, one of them said the iron something... 
in the apartment or whatever. I think that we, we hit the apartment, right? That's where she was. She managed to get there before us with her magic NPC fast travel or whatever. Now we've got well over 2,000. Let's get this next, next shield bit. Because hell yeah, being overprepared. Loading emergency service. Installation. How can we help you? No, that'll do. Thank okay, you. Get back online, Sid. Yeah, give us a hot second to get that last eyeball. And then we've got a boss fight, quote unquote. And then Sid will be online in this area. Okay, I feel like we were over here once already. And then the other thing was in the clock tower, which is. Over there, a weird tilty building, right? Eh, close enough. Oh, I didn't check how much the last shield bit was, though. I imagine that's going to be 3,000. We're following the numbers. Or possibly 4,000 if it's doing a, a multiplicative rate there. that extra shield. Oh, wow. Okay. More rail gun than projectile, I guess. A dude there, excuse me, sir. <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh, look at you. Look at you managing to catch me looking once. They're over here, huh? I still hear something. That might oh, that's probably down below. You know what? Not worth it. Be on our way. Oh, you can see. the corner.
Oh, okay. Didn't. Oh, okay. There's the eyeball. <laughs> no, I wanted to deal with the stupid trash mob first. Oh well. Oh, damn. That thing is double armored. Oh well. Still got a very clear eyeballish wake weak point there. So, uh, okay. We'll deal. If it blinks, we can kill it. Um, do we jump down after it right away, or do we try to see what we can see here? Oh, okay, here's the interior of the clock tower, right? So, uh... Come in, High Tree Command. I don't read you. Come in. Hmm. <laughs> There's Lyris where the clock tower candle flies. Everything's in position. Those hungry bastards can eat fire tonight. Lyris, is it? There's no one out there. Everyone's... Oh, no, no, no. Shh. Don't, don't spoil our fun here. What did I tell you about leaving your post? Can't let them triangulate our position before the big light show. Uh, where's right, my post? My post. Um, where is that again? A scouting mission to the Dross Hive? In the Iron Route. You lost your nerve, Scout. Yes, that's exactly what I lost. I think she knows she's in the Ultra Void. Alright, I mean, that tracks a little bit. Peacefully interacting with strangers. <laughs> Uh, homemade explosives. Oh, yeah. I mean, fertilizer is a hell of an explosive, isn't it? Makes sense. And there's medical supplies. Bust that right open. Okay. Well, that's that one, right? Three more. Oh, okay. That was supposed to be the second one we went to. And the iron root, I guess, is next, right? Okay, but there's a big, stupid space eyeball thing we gotta go poke, I guess, first, huh? Alright, alright, Okay, huh? seem to be appropriately upping the complexity on these. And stab? Okay, that's not an eyeball, but you know, it's you know appropriately fleshy, I guess. Things tough, but I'm tougher. Whoa, whoa, careful. Um, can we not there we are. <laughs> it's like, uh... Sure. Oh, 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 shit. Ah, uh, no. Ah, oh, overshot. Okay. Is 
last one better lead us to that big, delicious looking eyeball there. Turned around on that last one. Careful. And stab. All right. Well, it's not Nyaball, but that was de that definitely looked a little juicier. All oh, right, and then disco dance party to the next narrative bit, right? This place again. Why did you bring me here? Well, I keep stabbing things with. Big space needles. I guess that works. I cannot choose your path any more than you can start <laughs> chasing your impossible dream. It's not impossible. I'm going to save my people. I risked everything. Mm. Everything? Everything? You risk more than your own life, child. There are fates far worse than death. I should know. I'm a weird disembodied space thing. I welcome them. If it means I can stop my planet from being destroyed. Of course, you think this was a decision. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, we're gonna invoke. There's no such thing as free will, huh? Then enjoy your okay. Food. All right. Freedom to get. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh no! It get eliminated one of my shield bits. Hey, come on! I paid good blood plasma things for that. Still left quite a bit of other stuff in that area, I think. At least at least two more log bits what gets us the next little suit thing, right? I wouldn't mind finding those, but maybe we don't go for it just yet. Maybe we leave that as like a post game thing. Go back and get all the shit we missed. Oh, but we get to talk to Sid again, because we cleared up the uh, interference or whatever, yeah. What is that place? Ray. Connectivity has been restored to this node, along with a modicum of local memory data. Another good word. Sid full of the good words. Good. Can you activate the star seat now? No, we still need, if my memory is correct, three more, right? Negative. There's the number of lights not lit up on the central bit, right? We need to work faster. Restoring signal to this node has reactivated our conduit warping protocols. We are uploading them to your multi-tool. It should help speed up your mission. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. it Fast travel. Open your map. Yeah, okay, I got it, Sid. Thank you. <laughs> it's not our first rodeo. Alright, what do you remember? What do you remember before you went offline? Yeah. The memory is hard to parse, but... Memories are always hard to parse. Irving placed us near a temple. Okay. Ah, we do clearly remember how pleased he was to see us back online. He called us a buttercup, which seems odd. As we lack the ability to hold, <laughs> to hold or contain dairy. Oh, uh, okay. All right. You know, that's... Okay. That's the literal interpretation you would expect of a of a robot or a robot-like, right? It's a term of endearment, Sid. Eh. Do you remember anything else? I need to understand what happened to him. How he ended up like that. We do not. 
He seemed distraught and said he was glad we did not have to see what happened in the temple behind us. Oh, really? Something bad go down Perhaps there? Perhaps if you recover more of their mission logs, we can understand what happened to them. Okay, I mean, yeah. Um, found a void. Did I find a void runner, or is that just gonna turn us into the whole um, Irving discussion chain again, runner. huh? They didn't make it. Yeah, it was Irving. We just talked about Irving that. and his dog Darb. They're. Oh, his dog. I think they're dead. Wait a minute. What? Oh no! What happened? I found Irving. I don't understand what I saw. I mean, he's not alive, but he's not at peace either. It seems like he's. Trap. I mean, we we crossed the cusp of reality, right? We're in a black hole-ish thing. Then our fears were warranted. Our memories after landing here are fragmented, but one stands out quite clearly. He asked, "Do you think the Veruki did something to deserve this?" Oh no, Irving, are you a victim blamer? That doesn't sound good. He wanted to know if our people had done something even worse. We told him there are no metrics for comparing the morality of different planets. He <laughs> laughed and said, Darb usually hates bots, but you're all right, Sid. We wish he had tried to radio us hmm. for help. We will miss him. Hmm. A few uh, moral and ethical gray areas popping up here, huh? Uh, it's... Um... But, um uh, is it memories? Oh, uh, wait. Do you remember what happened in the broken capital before he went offline? Did we? Yeah, lies. okay. No, no, no. We we, we, that was one we already did. Right, 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 right. Okay. We've always got time for our favorite void runner. Okay. Oh, and this is the other stuff Actually, we just heard about nice. before. Ah, oh, if I had known we were going to have to rebuy our shield shit, I wouldn't have spent 2000 on the last one. Ah, oh, that's some gum. All right. Well, Thanks. let that learn us, I Your guess. Your is parallel to the mission, Ray. And thank you for restoring our local memory logs. No problem. Incorrect. There are <laughs> still problems. problems. <laughs> the star seat is not operational. Ah, uh, Zed, come on. Like, just don't take everything so literally. No, no, it's just... Yeah, exactly. Just it's meant... a metaphor. I'm glad you're here. And so much as it's a simile without like or as. Ah, we yeah. understand. Fucking hell. That's right. English English is a shit language. I don't blame Sid for not really getting the, the nuances of it. Um, Alright, so we got the all the things there. Well, the, the main things there. We got three of Lyris' thing. And, oh, only two of Irving's suit, huh? Okay, well, we can have a, a poke around. Let's see how many things are within direct visual range here. Probably the... Uh, Probably the, the building -y bits that we didn't climb and or fully explore, right? Oh, yeah, well, look at that. There's a... Yeah. Someone came through here. Ray, we're way ahead of you. Like, we identified that, like, after the second time. So, hell yeah. Okay. get to where we need to be here. Oh, that's going to be a hell of a jump. I don't know that we'll make that jump, but oh, we can try it. We can always climb back up, right? Well, maybe. Eh. Eh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we don't have extremely good jumping powers. Oh, whoa, jeez. Okay. This face planting into the rear of a tram kind of hurts. Okay, um, well, maybe that leads us over here, huh? Okay, another enemy bit, so that's a good sign. Oh, hey, look at you, trying to anticipate again. right over there. Easy. Some 
terribly hidden. I guess the, the most hidden bit is to find the little hint mark to begin with, right? Suffering a tea. Irving's favorite. We can just call it peppermint. We don't need to make up weird space words for normal shit. The best I can tell is that the ultra void sucks, sucks in, in planets, fall rises, yada yada yada. Tiny parts remain, and it almost looks like you're standing in a real place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mass transit architecture. Okay, yeah, buildings, aqueducts, trains, and shit. Gone. Death like this compounds and folds uh, conduits active, which we just Nothing did. Is death compounded. No one okay, to yep, yep, it's yep. All talk. right, good job, Irving. You, you left a log. Good job. You did your part, Irving. <laughs> I wish you'd made it. This is Darb's fur. Uh, it, it is? Okay, I mean, if you say so. All right, which means there's two more? One more. One more. Well, possibly a second, because we're missing, like, either the arms or the cape. But it's only got one little pit mark there, so... Alright, well, whatever. Maybe we can get lucky and see the last one. What if we just crack open before? There was a, a wall we busted down, then we decided to explore a little bit more. It's probably over here. Before we climbed up here, I think. Okay, and then we gotta find the iron root thing for um, Lyris's little bit, right? And there's also, let's see, two more of those, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Does it, like, give us the major bits here? Better get moving. No, that just tells us to the next. Uh, narratively important thing. I don't want to do that yet. Let's uh, see what we can find here. I feel like we already did that one. Okay, there's still like blood and shit over here, so... Leads us kind of around the perimeter. Leads us up into one of the other things. We definitely did that one already. Oh, right. That was one of the uh, shortcut things we opened up. Oh, yeah, look at that. All tucked away. Sneaky. Kind of. Not really, though, since we found it. Another one just kind of sitting out in the open. Just a few extra things here. Thing here. Okay, here's one of the other shortcut things, right? Yeah, that was the wall we had busted down, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah, we did that one. That's the uh, Destructo Starseed thing, right? Doing its thing over there, and I think that's the indicator for the next area, right? That red pillar. Better yep. Get okay. Nope. Don't need to do that yet. And then the corpse of the thing we just murdered. Goopy and shit. Does that lead us to anywhere? That would be a hell of a thing to do, honestly. Nope. Seems like that's nothing. Is there another little interior bit here? Oh, just a little bit of extra. Extra red plasma currency stuff. Um, do 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 do. How about over there? Oh, 
follow the trails and the lights and stuff and see if that eventually leads oh or is this the apartment thing that we found Lyrison before Lyris Lyris yep okay uh don't probably don't need to be in here a second time yeah okay remember if we got up to the top of this building yet or not This is just little extra solid blood plasma bits, right? poke around for a couple minutes and then we might call tonight a little bit early since we're at a pretty good break point for this did two areas well the opening area and then one of the non-opening areas we're in a good spot to resume for next time oh oh wait here's some enemies okay good 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 um where's earth oh it didn't give us the little bookshot thing all right Good sign there's something of value over here, right? Enemies exist even after the big bad takes a shit, right? Blah. Okay, so the Veruki are fighting the Dross. Got it. Um, I was hoping for a bit more than some environmental storytelling there, but... I guess we can't always win the day. Less that kind of trails itself around here. Let's see. Nope, that is unwalkable. Unless... <laughs> oh, well. Actually, we get to science out what happens if you fall off the edge. Oh, it doesn't let you. Boo! <laughs> Come on! Oh, can't even let me do some fun science. Would have expected at least like a, a rapid transport shove back to the edge or something, but no, they didn't even let you do that. Okay, fine. Alright, let's it is. I think we did this side bit already, right? It's a goop climb to, I believe, one of Irving's things. Yep, there that is. Oh, that's, yeah, that was the one right above the little center bit. Oh, there's a trail leading over here. Interesting, but also not productive. Can we, uh, climb these bits? No. 
Well, maybe there's something hidden at the very edges of the void here, though. Why would they put a trail of that down here? If not, right? make this all worth it here. Oh, we just made a big ass circle. Nothing really to show for it. Damn. <clears throat> Man, Teleglitch has ruined me. Looking for secrety secrets where none probably exist. Ah, well. I guess it's worth it. We get to look at how pretty the game is. I'd say it's worth that, right? And then we already got back here for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe that was the only thing I was really hiding. Oh, wait. There's a whole little side bit over there. Um, that's... Is that the path to the next bit? Or is that... Better get moving. Nope, that's on the other, opposite side. Okay, I think we found at least a little something, something here. Okay, it's one of the bits we haven't done. Oh yeah, it's a big, uh, oh, my head. big wall of, oh, that might actually be the next major area besides that one then. Ah, nuts, come on! Oh. Alright, is there anything else of value over here at least? Mmm, well, okay, I'm just gonna kind of walk our butts around it. Oh, no. No way to scale the cliff, huh? Damn. Ah! Please. Alright, no such luck. There wasn't just a little bit in the cracks here, was there? Eh? No. Shit. Oh, looks like there's a little tiny path here. Eh? Aw! Oh. <laughs> Straight into nothing. Oh, there's a little under... It's like a little underground bit. Instead. Uh, did we get this already? Hold on a second. Mmm, no. A couple little side bits that we didn't get. Paltry sum of something. I feel like this little interior bit was part of the... One of the actual progression things. Yeah, yeah it was. And that led to the climb into something else. There's is another little side bit here that I don't know that I did. Oh, no, it's just another side bit to this. Ah, crap. So there was a goop climb here. Yeah, clearly there's a checkpoint there already, and then there's... Oh, that's the... Well, wait, if that's the corpse for the thing we just murdered, right? So, uh... Can we climb up there now? That would be fun. Mm. No, I maybe not. Eh? Eh? Ah, no. Hmm. No, just a monument to our murder, I guess. Um, nuts. Okay, well, they've got this stuff hidden away pretty good, then. I 
just a matter of being thorough with checking out every every light, every little off-color thing. Which, you know, I'm okay with that kind of system of hiding stuff. If there's a good, like, visual indicator of it or whatever, I'm cool with it. Okay, no, no, we definitely did already. And that one we climbed up earlier. And now it's the bit for Sid. Okay. Well, with that, then, I think we'll call it there for tonight. And then here's... Here's the title screen, which I think should be something different besides, like, the weird TV test pattern, but maybe running through Proton is not the, uh, the best for seeing the title screen, apparently. But that's alright. We'll call it there for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CDT, more Solar Ash. Uh, we'll start on, on the, um, I guess the technically the third section. Uh, if you don't count the first little bit that we did on the intro. Um, Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CDT, it'll be Shmup Book Club, so um, Darius Gaiden, or Sofstar, or uh, Dust Smiles. Friday, Saturday, we're off, and then Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT, it'll be more long play. We'll try Darkest Dungeon 2 again. Uh, why not? We're not quite angry enough at the RNG to, to rage quit just yet, so we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. But that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.